favourite at 1.3. The turf track is B plus two. Both courses are rated good. They're racing. And the favourite first out from the inside gate, Fantastic Wayne. He's going to keep the lead too. Fireball, Vukan and Simply Spectacular in the first four. A length away is Exponential from Kobe Opper. Down next to the rail is Chiron and a length to flying on the turf three wide from Strathmartin. Then came the submarine, top accolade, wide out happy warrior, so too vast starlight. And last is Gladsome Rider. The leader is Fantastic Way. He's out by three quarters on fireball. Vukan running third, the rail and fourth is simply spectacular. Three wide is Exponential from Chiron, Kobe Opper. A length away and wide flying on the turf from the submarine. Next to turn in Strathmartin from Happy Warrior and Gladsome Rider. Fantastic way below the 400 metre mark. Leads by a length on Fireball, who's the only one sticking on with the leader at the moment. Two lengths to Vukan, simply spectacular and exponential. Fantastic way gets to the furlong. He's a length in front of Fireball, who's game but not eating into this lead of the favourite. Then Vukan and simply spectacular. It is Fantastic way. John Size, another first start, another winner. Fantastic way beat Fireball, Vukan, simply spectacular. That were followed in by Gladsome Rider who ran on on debut. Came from last, not a bad run actually, from Exponential, Strathmartin, next in Happy Warrior, the Submarine, and then came Chiron, Kobe Opper, top accolade and Bar Starlight, the last one in. Second start for Gladsome Rider actually. Another first starter, another shorty, 1.4 he went off at. In fantastic way has been first out, first home for Joe Marira and John Size. He was gutsy fireball, he never looked like running down the favourite. But he stuck on well with him. Wagner Borges and 12 Vukan. Derek Long in a third spot. So it was a popular top four. 7, 14, 12 and a 3 in the first. And he's jogged up fantastic way. Courier Wonder. Wonder Brahma has just come into 13 to 1. So a late move for the bottom one. They're racing in the class five. Victorious leader slow. For fun's sake was slow as well. Golden Mission breaks the line first. Viva Council, Galaxy Emperor wider. City Legends into a beautiful spot fourth on the rail. Then Red Majesty and Wonder Brahma very wide from Spicy Grill. Next is Galaxy Racer from on the inside. Win-win 33. A length and a half for fun's sake. Three wide sees the spirit with Destin in between horses. A length and a half Victorious leader and little general is last no real speed on with 800 meters left to go it's fever council by three quarters galaxy emperor golden mission third three wide is wonder brahma next is red majesty from spicy grill three wide following wonder brahma city legends been shuffled back he's on the rail midfield inside of galaxy racer three wide sees the spirit from win win 33 destin and little general for fun sake second last at last is victorious leader viva council's had a a really good trip in front, but he's being challenged and headed here by Galaxy Emperor, who's put two links on Spicy Grill. Sees the spirits out wide from Red Majesty. City Legends getting a rails run. 200 metres to go. Galaxy Emperor leads. Sees the spirit. is starting to make ground down the centre. Then City Legend and Victorious leader, but it's Galaxy Emperor finding. Runner sees the spirit stopping, and Galaxy Emperor won. Galaxy Emperor gave Joe the first two from Sees the Spirit and City Legend. Victorious leader ran on for fourth, then win win 33 for fun sake, Golden Mission, Red Majesty, Destin, Spicy Grill Galaxy Racer, Viva Council Little General and Wonder Brahma amongst the tail enders. Galaxy Emperor has won race number two for Joe Marira and Tony Cruz has beaten Seas the Spirit Tony Picone. City Legends run third today for Jerry Chow victorious leader ran in fourth spot. Good start for Joe. Odds on favourite in the first. This one went off at 10 to 1. All clears there from the back of the gates. And they're off. Beautiful line away at the 1200 too. Alloy King, Handsome Rebel, Resolute, Moidaki, Hero Star in a line of five early. Two links to striking Mr. C who didn't go forward. One happy star next from Demon's Rock. Lucky Fun's on the rail from Urban Dancer wide around Kelmimi wins. And five links to Oscar Glory. Alloy King past the 800 metre mark. He's now a length and a half Handsome Rebel. Hero Star third inside of Resolute from Moidaki and one happy star. 
A length and a half to Lucky Fun from striking Mr. C. A length and a half to Urban Dancer. Demons Rock is hard ridden from Kel Mimi wins and four lengths to Oscar Glory. Alloy King, 400 metres to go, is the leader. Handsome Rebels ahead to the outside. Three up Resolute. Then Hero Star, Moiraki, Lucky Fun and One Happy Star. Resolute leads. Lucky Fun starting to speed through the centre. Then Moiraki and One Happy Star. Resolute ahead. Lucky Fun trying to continue that momentum. It's Lucky Fun going past Resolute and Moiraki and that's the first three. Lucky Fun back to back has beaten Resolute, Moiraki and One Happy Star. Then Hero Star. Handsome Rebel. Next in is Demons Rock from Oscar Glory. Alloy King. Urban Dancer striking Mr. C. And Kel Mimi wins is the last one home. Lucky fun, Zach Pert and Danny Shum. Determined run through the centre. Makes it two in a row. Resolute second, Karis Teton. Moraki and Joe Marira third. One has beaten home the five and the three. The 11 who went brown in betting at 15 to one in the end. One happy star next time, Oscar Glory. Money continued for him into 9.6. There was a late move for Demons Rock. He came into 7.7 .7 and Lucky Fun held firm at 4.2. Sixteen hundred Andrew the distance of a race number four. Cheerful days looking to break through and they're off at the mile to another good start and McMoneagle, cheerful days. He's going forward and he's being hard ridden from that wide gate by Purton to come across and lead cheerful days and he does. He's two over bulletproof and land power. Then Savvy Kingman wide from winning steed against the rail. Around him is Brave Power and a length away is Ruby Stars but left out three wide. From a happy win win and after being one of the first away, McMoneagle's been shuffled back from Shaw win-win. Then Golden Bold and Dong Sui. Second last is Nunchucks and a length and a half to Amazing Luck. They have around 9.50 to go. And Cheerful Day strides away by three lengths over Savvy Kingman. Land Power third and a break of two and a half to Bulletproof around Winning Steed. Two lengths to Brave Power. Over against the rail is Happy Win-Win from Ruby Stars Golden Bold. They're strung out here from McMoneagle. Then Dong Dongju Sui, sure win-win. Nunchuck second last. Last is amazing luck and he'd be 20 lengths off the leader turning for home which is the favourite cheerful days. He's nursed around the turn and plenty others behind him are under a ride. Land Power's two lengths away. Then Bulletproof followed by winning steed Savvy Kingman. Cheerful days, 300 to go. He's a length, a length and a half clear over Land Power. Winning steed, Bulletproof, happy win-win is starting to eat into the lead. Cheerful days is shortening stride as happy win-win pounced through the centre. Late is winning steed and out wide nunchucks but happy win-win. Happy win-win has beaten home winning steed and nunchucks and donk juicy. Then came bulletproof. Next in golden bold from land power amazing luck. Brave power sure win-win. Cheerful days knocked up to beat in McMoneagall Ruby Stars and Savvy Kingman. Happy win-win Antoine Hamlin for Dennis Yip has beaten winning steed Derek Long, Nunchucks Vincent Ho, and fourth in will be Donk Ju Sui. The favourite is out of a place. He was a winner, happy win-win here on the 14th of November. He's placed at Happy Valley since, and he's gone off here at a supported 11-1 to lace in betting. And Antoine, after the five-timer of a couple of weeks ago, Same combination as what there was in the previous. All in now. Second of the all-weather races. On the 1200, they're racing. Just Not Listening was a little slow out of the gate. Speed of plenty. Flying bonus. Utopia Life all for south. Aquila fourth and next to the inside Sunny Boy from Gunner. Then Eternal Beauty. Sunset Watch Falcon Turbo four, three wide. Next to the inside. Just Not Listening from Super Alliances. And two links to Telecom Smart. Flying bonus across to the rail. To lead by a length and a half on Utopia Life. One off Aquila 
the third, the fence, and just a bit keen at the first turn. Next is all for South from Sunny Boy. White as Sunset Watch, then Eternal Beauty. Falcon Turbo, just not listening. Super Alliances, Gunner second last, and hard ridden and last is Telecom Smart. Flying bonus, 350 to go is the leader. Utopia Life, this pair have both been backed, and they're out by two lengths on all for South and Sunset Watch. It's Utopia Life digging in and going to the lead from Flying Bonus. Sunny Boy's getting through the centre and Sunset Watch is out wide. Utopia Life, Sunny Boy blasting through the centre. Sunset Watch there for minor money, but Sunny Boy beat Sunset Watch and Utopia Life. Flying Bonus fourth, then Super Alliances. All for South Aquila. Next in Gunner from Telecom Smart. Well back, just not listening. Eternal Beauty and Falcon Turbo has run last. Sunny Boy, Jerry Chow and Chris So. 8.5, his jump off price has beaten Sunset Watch for Karis Teet and Utopia Life, who went brown in betting. In third spot and flying bonus will be fourth. One, five, two, ten is how the judge will place them on the fourth. Make it the fifth. Now three for Sunny Boy as far as wins go. 18 career starts. Back on to the all weather. He's now won three from nine in class three and just appeared through the centre. There he goes. There they go. Smiling time walked out, then to make it worse, dipped after the start. So his one length uh, loss at the start became four. Highly proactive is going to lead early over Beauty Rush, Beauty Legacy and Beauty Smile. Then came Ballistic King and a length away next is Happy Fun, very wide perpetuum. Golden Spectrum's on the rail and not usual talent around mid-pack, one off from Miss Alley. Then Water Diviner from Winning Method, Smiling Time and Band of Brothers. It's highly proactive in control now. The Beauty are spots two, three and four. They are Rush, Legacy and Smile. Two lengths away next is Ballistic King from Perpetuum. A length and a half to not usual talent. Happy fun three wide. Against the fence is Golden Spectrum. Two lengths to Miss Alley, Water Diviner. Winning method well back with Band of Brothers and three lengths to Smiling Time. It's highly proactive. 4.50 to go. Leading Beauty Rush, three up Beauty Smile. Next is Beauty Legacy. Two lengths to Ballistic King and then not usual talent. The beauties are just about in the top three spots here. Beauty Rush, Beauty Smile and then Beauty Legacy and Highly Proactive. Not usual talent. Ballistic King, they're making ground. Beauty Smile leads. Highly Proactive. Not usual talent. and Ballistic King run on but Beauty Smile, they won't catch him. Beauty Smile beat Not Usual Talent. Third Ballistic King, fourth Highly Proactive. Winning Method ran on from Beauty Legacy. Water Diviner, Band of Brothers, Beauty Rush. Happy Fun next over from Golden Spectrum, Perpetuum, Miss Alley and Smiling Time, the last couple in. Race six to Beauty Smile, Matthew Chadwick for Tony Cruz. Has been too good over not usual talent, Jerry Chow and Ballistic King Neil Cullen. 12, 2, 3 and 10, highly proactive who fought on. He'll run fourth and that's been race number six. The Beauties in spots two, three and four, they just about went to the top three spots but Legacy didn't quite get past uh, highly proactive to run into, um, making it the beauty horses one, two, three. But in the end, it was beauty smile. Centenary Vars, field already at the 1800, and they're racing. Harmony Victory was slow again. He missed it by three. Time Warp's going to speed through on the inside and he's going to find his favourite role. He's out a length and a half on Singapore Sling who just dropped over in behind the leader. Two lengths away, third Glorious Dragon and there's no pace on. Exultant fourth, Savvy Nine, three wide fifth and Furore's on the rail. Then Ho Ho Khan from Columbus County, Shifano and Harmony Victory. It's Time Warp left alone to control the speed and he gallops past the 1300 out by two. Singapore Slings running second and Exultant third the other. Glorious Dragon is fourth the inside from Savvy Nine. Then Ho Ho Khan and Furore's on the rail. Columbus County is three wide from Shifano and last is Harmony Victory. 1,000 metres left to go and it's Time Warp two lengths in front of Exultant who's moved into second now with a heap of room to drop onto the fence. Two lengths to Singapore Sling and they speed up off the back. A length and a half to Savvy Nine 
line from Glorious Dragon. A length away is Ho Ho Khan from Furore. Columbus County, Shifano. He's off the bit when the pace went on. And last is Harmony Victory. 500 to go. Time Warp leads in the centenary vase. He's two lengths in front of Exultant. Then came Singapore Sling. Then Savvy Nine. Ho Ho Khan, Glorious Dragon and Furore. Time Warp is the leader. 300 to go and he's still out by two lengths on Exultant. Singapore Sling and Glorious Dragon. Time Warp leads but he's coming back to them. Glorious Dragons weave through the centre. Exultant and out wide then is Singapore Sling but Glorious Dragons in front. The centenary vase is going to the Poon Train. Glorious Dragon beat Exultant and Furore. Then Singapore Sling Time Warp. Gee, he gave a good sight for a long way today from Columbus County. Ho Ho Khan, Harmony Victory, Savvy Nine, last in Shifano. Glorious Dragon, Matthew Poon and Francis Loy. The grey has exploded away. Exultant Zach Purton second, Furore Joe Marrero third. Just for a few moments at the top of the straight when Time Warp put three lengths on them, you thought, hello. But he's weakened to run fifth and Glorious Dragon has sped through the middle and Matthew Poon's won the group three on Glorious Dragon. Start 16, win number three. He was runner-up last year. It's the same Quinilla as last year. Fourteen and four point four for number two Diamond Rhyme looking for back to back wins. They're off at the fourteen hundred. Zone D out awkwardly from the centre. Favourite from the inside out first wins all. Diamond Rhyme joins him. Through the centre comes Pearl Champion from Ultra Express. And then Green Envy from Best for You, Travel Glory. White is more than enough from Universal Crown. Golden Link four wide, stunning impact three wide. Zone D one off. Universal Crown second last and a length and a half to L. Hefe. Diamond Rhymes taken up the lead with about 1,050 to run. More than enough's work forward to be second. Pearl Champion third and Winsall took a trail to box seat fourth defence. Fifth is Ultra Express and Green Envy three wide from Best For You Travel Glory. Golden Link has covered ground from Stunning Impact. And then came Seaweed Fortune, followed well back by Zone DL Hefe and two links to Universal Crown. It's Diamond Rhyme looking for back-to-back -back wins. He turns in by three quarters over more than enough. There's a rails run for wins all if he's good enough. Green Envy is wider out and next is Pearl Champion. Diamond Rhyme wins all to his inside. Green Envy He's a length away from more than enough. El Jefe is making ground down the centre as Winsall's taken over from Diamond Rhyme. Green Envy's wider out and then Ultra Express getting into the clear. Winsall, Ultra Express driving very quickly and won it. Ultra Express from either Green Envy who had a dip at Winsall. It's a photo for second or third. Then El Jefe, best for you. Seaweed Fortune, Zone D. Next in Diamond Rhyme, Stunning Impact, Travel Glory, Universal Crown. More than enough Pearl Champion and Golden Link. He is the last one home. Ultra Express. Karis Teton for Tony Millard. Will beat Green Envy for Joe Marrera. And thirds of photo between Winsall and El Jefe. Where did he come from? The 11. Ultra Express going off at 7.8. He sat back in the field. Winsall looked to be the winner. Green Envy's covered ground. Tony Speechley has them for the second last. All clear from the back of the gates. And they're away. Piano Solo missed it a length. Tycoon missed it too. Beauty Day, King Opie and Telecom Fighters up front. From looking great, Piano Solo with the aid of the rail had room to drive right on through to be in the first five or six with California 10 wider. Then Casemiro and a length and a half hangs decision. Perfect to greats around him and a length and a half to Authentic Champ. Tycoon next and a further two links to leading fortune. Legion of Merit second last and last is A1. Leader is Beauty Day. He's out by a length on King Opie who's trapped wide. Piano Solo despite that bad start found himself perfectly placed third the rail. Telecom fighters fourth and a length and a half to Heng's decision looking greats in that line of horses as well.
as is California 10, but he's three wide. Next, Casemiro from perfect to great Toy Coon. Authentic champ with three behind him. They are Legion of Merit leading Fortune at A1. Inside the 600 metre mark, and it's Beauty Day over King Opie. Piano Solo running third, Telecom Fighters fourth. Next is California 10, looking great, just held up from Piano Solo against the rail. Heng's decision is next. King Opie going a race. He's gone to the lead from Beauty Day. Then Telecom Fighters, Casemiro with a late dash. King Opie is the leader, 200 to run. Beauty Day rallies, perfect to great. Telecom Fighters, Casemiro through the centre. Perfect to great leads. Casemiro, late authentic champ. Telecom Fighters still there, but Casemiro, Casemiro won. From either Telecom Fighters or authentic champ in a busy finish. Then perfect to great, looking great. Leading Fortune ran on. Beauty Day, California 10. Heng's decision, A1. Uh, King Opie went a cheeky race for a long way, but he knocked up to beat in Tycoon. Legion of Merit and Piano Solo is last home. Casemiro, Matthew Chadwick a double. For Paul O'Sullivan, from either Telecom Fighters or Authentic Champ. It's a photo for second and third. Telecom Fighters, Karis Teton, Authentic Champ, Vincent Ho. Very busy finish leading fortunes come from last at the 600 metre mark. But it's Casemiro who's delivered in class three for the first time. He had notoriously struggled in this grade. All in, Handsome Bobo up on the hind legs. He settles again. They're racing and he jumped pretty well, Handsome Bobo. Favourite was in the last four out of the gates, Duke Y. Handsome Bobo, Team Spirit Highland Fortune. Beauty applause is a little wide early on, but pressing on from Roman Turbo. All in mind, heading forward from the wide gate from California, deep shot. And then came Gold Chest from Victorium. He's three wide around racing fighter and Duke Wise on the rail. Two links away is Guy Dragon and the tail end is a spend and young legend. It's Team Spirit leading. He's out by a half a length at the 650 on Beauty Applause. Three wide is all in mind and Handsome Bobo. Bobo fourth inside of Highland Fortune. Three wide Roman Turbo given a cut with the whip from California deep shot. Then gold chest Duke Wise in heavy traffic. Victorian racing fighter and guy dragging around him. Beauty applause has gone to the front. Team Spirit's gone. Uh, all in mind. Highland Fortune still there. From Roman Turbo guy dragon late. No run for Duke Y. It's beauty applause in front at the 100 metre mark. He's out by two. Guy dragon. Roman Turbo. Highland Fortune. That's how they'll finish for the last extra 200. No worries. Beauty Applause gave Joe three and beat Guy Dragon, Roman Turbo and Highland Fortune. Duke Y was very unlucky. Then came Handsome Bobo. Next in racing fighter, California deep shot, young legend all in mind, Team Spirit. Gold chest and the last two winner spend in Victorium. Beauty Applause. Size and Marira finish how they started. Guy Dragon's run second, Vincent Ho. And a Roman Turbo, Alexi Bedell will be third. Three, 11, 13 and five on the final race of the day. Makes it six from 19. And that win over the 1,000 metres might have just given him a confidence to go on with it again. He's above average. He's now on six from 19.